of our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this red dress So let's get started these are all the measurements I are going to be using to make the dress and as you can see for the horizontal measurement of minus one inch and this is because we are using a stretch fabric and I want my dress to be a bit tight but if you don't want your dress to be tight just go ahead and use your measurement but don't add any allowance. To make the dress we are going to be using a stretch fabric and mine is a velvet fabric and it's a two way stretch. And then after that you're going to be folding the fabric in half and I folded it in half on the stretchy side next step you're going to be taking a tape measure and you're gonna mark half an inch down from the top of the fabric and after marking that this is going to be the shoulder line Next step, we're going to be marking our shoulder to bust measurement and mine is going to be 9 inches. So I'm going to be marking 9 inches from the shoulder line. After marking our bust line, next step, we're going to be marking our shoulder to waist measurement and mine is 15 inches so I'm going to be marking 15 inches from the shoulder line so go ahead and mark your shoulder to waist measurements after marking the waistline next step we're going to be marking our waist to hips measurement and mine is 9 inches so I'm going to be marking 9 inches from the waistline so go ahead and mark your waist to hips measurements as well. Next step for our vertical measurement, we're going to be marking our shoulder to desired length and mine is a maxi so my desired length is about 54 inches so I'm going to be marking 54 inches from the shoulder all the way down so go ahead and mark your shoulder to desired length as well and this line is going to be the skirt length line next step we're going to be marking our horizontal measurement and I'm going to start with my shoulder and my half shoulder measurement is 6.5 so I'm going to mark 6.5 on the shoulder line Next step, we're going to be marking our quarter bust measurement and mine is 7 inches. So I'm going to be marking 7 inches on the bust line. And after that, we're going to be marking a quarter of our waist measurement and mine is 6.2. So I'm going to mark 6.2 on the waistline. Next step, we're going to be marking a quarter of our hips measurement and mine is 9 inches so I'm going to mark 9 inches on the hip line. And for our last horizontal measurement, we're going to be marking on our skirt length line and for the skirt length line, we're going to be using the same measurement for our hips which is 9 inches, a quarter of your hips measurement that is, and mine was 9 inches and then I'm going to add 3 inches to that and that's going to be 12 inches because we want this to be like a mermaid mermaid dress okay so that's why i'm adding three inches so you're going to take your quarter hips measurement plus three inches and that's going to give you the flare next step we're going to be making an armhole for the dress and on the mark that we made on the shoulder line we're going to go down by half an inch and this is because the shoulder is not straight it's a bit slant that's why we're going to mark half an inch down and after that we're going to connect the mark on the shoulder to the neckline like so so go ahead and do that as well
and after that we're going to be drawing a straight line from the shoulder line mark all the way down and after that we're going to take a ruler or a tape measure and you're going to measure this line and whatever you get you're going to divide that by two and that's going to be the midpoint and then you're going to mark the midpoint of the line okay and then on that midpoint you're going to go in half inch and then you're going to mark and then you're going to connect the lines with the curve ruler the bust line mark all the way to the shoulder next step we're going to be making our neckline and you're going to be taking a tape measure and you're going to be marking three inches down from the shoulder line and this is going to be the neckline depth and then you're also going to mark three inches on the shoulder line as well and then you can connect the two marks together with a curve ruler or you can connect that by hand and this is how the neckline looks like and then next step we're going to be connecting the mark on our bust to our waist and from our waist we're going to be connecting our waist to hip measurement with a curve ruler so i'm going to go ahead and connect that and lastly we're going to connect our hips measurement to our skirt length line and we're going to be using a straight ruler to do so and after that we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to add half an inch allowance all the way at the top our armhole all the way down to our skirt length line and after that we're going to go ahead and cut it out so this is the front of our dress and now we're going to be making the back dress and we're going to be folding over at the bust line so we're going to fold it over like so next step we're going to be taking another fabric and we're going to be folding it over in half with the right sides facing each other and then we're going to be taking our front dress and we're going to be placing it on the fabric like so after that we're going to be marking half an inch up allowance from the bust line like so And we're going to be cutting from here all the way down. And now you should have your front dress and your back dress. And we're going to be working on the front dress. So we're going to put the back dress aside. So now we're going to be opening our front. And before that, I'm going to be making a little cut on the bust line like so next step i'm going to be opening this up like so next step i'm going to be transferring the markings on this side so i'm going to transfer the bust line the neckline and i'm going to draw the middle line as well and this is how the markings look and now we're going to determine where we're going to be cutting it out so mm -hmm. that we have our one shoulder dress so for me i'm going to be cutting it on the right so i'll start cutting from the left all the way to the right and it all depends on you if you want to cut it on the left so you start from the right going to the left but mine is starting from the left all the way to the right so now we're going to take a cup ruler and we're going to draw a line from the left to the neckline the three inch mark like so and you can go ahead and use your hand to do so or you can use a curved ruler but I'm going to be using my hands to just draw a line all that way and after drawing the line we're going to go ahead and add half an inch allowance before cutting so I'm going to add half an inch allowance all the way and then the next step we're going to go ahead and cut it out
so this is how the front dress looks and then the next step we're going to be turning it to the right side okay so the right side should be facing you and then we're going to be taking the back dress and you're going to be placing it onto the front with the right sides facing each other so we're going to be matching up the bust line together with the bust line of the front dress like so and then you're going to go ahead and pin it down and after pinning you're going to go ahead and sew all the way on both sides and guys since we are using a stretch fabric we're going to be using a zigzag stitch to sew this and we're going to sew with a half inch sewing allowance And this is how it looks after sewing. So after sewing I went ahead and cleaned my edges with my overlocker and if you don't have an overlocker you can go ahead and use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. And then the next thing you're going to do you're going to measure around the shoulder because we're going to be making the scarf for this that goes around the neck. So mine is 5 inches. After measuring, you're going to cut a piece that looks like this for your scarf and the width is going to be the measurement that you got when you measured around the shoulder and the length is going to be your shoulder to desired length minus 4 inches for a maxi but if you're going to be making this shorter, I would suggest that you make the scarf a little bit longer. So here is the piece and the length is 5 inches wide like I showed you in the diagram next step we're going to be taking the scarf piece and we're going to be attaching it with the right sides facing each other to the shoulder like so and then we're going to be pinning it in place After pinning, we're going to go ahead and sew with a half inch allowance using a zigzag stitch. Next step, we're going to be finishing the edges on our back to the front all the way to the scarf piece and to the other ends and you can do this by folding over half an inch once or twice but for me, I'm going to be using a bias binding and the bias binding, the width is about one and a half inches wide, okay? And the length is going to be the measurement that you're going to measure from the back all the way to the front, all the way to the scarf piece and to the other side as well. To sew this bias on the dress, we're going to be taking a piece and sorry mine is rolling over because this is like a velvet fabric and then you're going to place it together with the right sides facing each other and I'm starting at the edge of this little piece, the scarf thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin all around and after pinning I'm going to go ahead and sew all along the piece all the way so this is how it looks after sewing the bias and this is how the front looks okay so next we're going to be taking some scissors and we're going to be cutting the excess allowance so that we can be able to fold over the other piece and you'll see how next so go ahead and cut the excess allowance After cutting the excess allowance, next we're going to be taking the other piece and we're going to fold over twice like so and then we're going to go ahead and pin it in place. And we're going to do that all around. And after that we're going to go ahead and sew all the way. And 
this is how it looks after we've sewn the bias binding okay and then the next step we are going to be folding over the top half an inch like so and then we are going to pin it in place and then we are going to go ahead and sew And the last step for this dress we are going to be hemming the dress and you're going to do that by folding over half an inch and then you're going to sew all around but for me I'm not gonna do so because I already overlocked my dress and I love the lettuce hem so I'm not gonna do that And here is the finished look of the dress. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll be seeing you on my next video. Bye and God bless.